Welcome to the Monday, May 20th meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let members and staff introduce themselves. Hannah Smith. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett. Liz, Liz Pritchett. Benjamin Cheney. Unless anybody has anything else beforehand, <laughs> do I hear a motion to approve our agenda for tonight? So moved. Second. All in favor? Agenda is approved. Without any further ado, we will let, and actually for anybody who has not been here before, we are advisory to the Development Review Board. We will listen to each of the applications and move them forward to either administrative approval or to the next Development Review Board meeting following this evening. Our first application for 50 at Barry Street. Come forward and describe your project. Well, Pergola. You want company? I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, just support me if they get hard on me here. Um, so what we are proposing doing is taking the pergola element from out here in front and moving it to the senior center. It had to move because of property rental reasons and it seemed like a good opportunity to use the part of it that was still in good shape and to create some shade in, in for the seniors in front of the senior center. So it'll, it would occupy the eastern of the two courts. And um, I did a slight redesign of it, but it's fundamentally the same. What essentially we're doing is creating a bench here and using an existing planter here and here and an existing bench here and here. I'm then gonna build these and this. So essentially, the over the head elements are in good shape. I've refurbished them and restained them and then I'm gonna rebuild the base elements for the most part uh, so that the thing is in good shape and it is a temporary installation that will be tested for the summer there'll be a community meeting to see how well it worked because there was some skepticism amongst the tenants more than probably the seniors who use the building we're going to see if it's if it works and if it um, if it's in general appreciated then it would stay longer it might be up for a couple years two or three four see what happens but it it should um last for a while and provide shade and adds a soft spot on Berry Street. Is there any provision for additional shade other than the curved lattice work on top? Yes, I'm missing what I would call the, well, the secondary beams, the ones that are just curving here, are okay. going to be pushed actually to the front and I'm going to increase their density and they'll be placed perpendicular or parallel to the south, east-west, so that southern light will be better blocked by them than it was over here you may have noticed that it wasn't really such a good shade structure so i'm going to st stack the members up vertically this way against the sun I see. and try to be a, try to make it more effective for shade because that is essentially what this one's for it's not just decorative it's a shade element mm -hmm. okay is there any lighting proposed for a later evening yes yes and I would, I actually apologize, that's not an application, that was a, a recent thought. We are talking about buying a very inexpensive, but actually quite lovely, very small colored LEDs that'll be solar activated. So I did this on a parklet in Burlington, and it's just a teeny little solar panel, about this mm -hmm. big with batteries, and then a light string, and the little LEDs are about this big, and we'll put them on the underside of the rafters so that they'll just be twinkling from to the people on below they don't actually provide light they just provide a little sense of ambiance and they won't be visible to birds or to residents above i don't think so they're just and steve would you like joanne can can you turn sure. to a microphone i'm just wondering if you'd like joanne do i hold it okay I'm wondering if you want um, Joanne Triana to speak to the existing lighting that's out there. Or just wondering about modifications. Sure, if you like. There's Is there any lighting on the front of the building now yes, other than over the entryway? The, um, the flag is lit and the, um, there are bollards along so that people can come in after dark okay. and see safety lighting. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't shine up. I would bet this LED, the whole thing probably doesn't even have 30 watts. I mean, it's very, very light. It's just almost like little twinkles of color. 
And it's going to be planted like it similarly to the way it was planted before? Yes, the goal is to raise enough money to, I mean, what we're working on is raising enough money so there's a planting budget for this for like three years. Mm -hmm. So the beds aren't very big. They're, you know, from me to you, just two rectangular beds and we'll plant them at the end of what we do. And are you imagining any climbing stuff over the trellis? trellis? That actually would be nice. Actually, hops or something would be nice to cover the trellis, so that might be one of the things we do. That would actually be very good idea. Worth doing. We didn't have such success with it before, but I think if we rig up a structure that supports them when they go up, I think that's a good idea. Do you like that idea? I like that idea. Good sun exposure there, too, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, and we have a a resident. I believe it's a resident volunteer to water this summer. Was um, it it's an artist who has a studio in Forty Six Ferry Street um, and has been doing the landscaping of that building for the past year or more. So she's there on a practically daily basis and is willing to help with the new planting and regular watering. Good. Good. If there's a is there a hose available nearby? Mm -hmm. There is a fountain, there's already a faucet on the front of the building that we use for the existing beds. I have a property, we just put a timer on it, put the hose up, put a little weeping uh, hose in, in the planting beds, and every morning for about 20 minutes it does a light watering, and I don't have to do a thing, it just does it automatically. Really? Which is another option. Yeah, this is that you were do anything you like, whether it's, yeah. you know, if you've got somebody who's uh, reliable to water, that's great. This is only adding 10 or 5 or 10 percent to the, the beds that are here, because mm -hmm. there's a sidewalk bed, there's a bed in the building, and there's two side beds, so it's got a lot. We're only adding you know, 20 square feet to hundreds of square feet of beds, so it's not, mm -hmm. not very much. Do the others get water? Does somebody have to yeah. do that manually? Or? Yeah. yeah, and it's, it's at times been challenging to get consistent watering, but we have a new this new plan, and we're feeling quite optimistic about Automatic it. Automatic ones work really well. Yeah, I don't know if those would work given the number of different beds and walking through and yeah. hoses, you know, climbing, and no, it's, but it, it's worth taking a look at. It can be a little challenging. Yeah. And then you lay it. yeah. Excuse me for interrupting. The back door is locking from the outside. I got this from the police. It's, can somebody make sure the dog open? It's just locking. There's a, a wedge. Yeah, there's, it, uh, we can't, it's on the timer. Okay. So I can't keep it. We, you, I need an official wedge. Open until I think at least six. Then we're supposed to reprogram it. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. So we have the uh, the options again. It's up to you. We just said a solar battery operated string lighting may be placed around the frame of the park. That's yep. fine. Is there anything else that you can think of that we needed to add? So it's going to be staying the existing houses, is that right? Yeah. Staying just the houses. Yep. <coughs> pretty much a brick red, or not brick red, a brownish red. Yeah. Kind of match, it actually matches the, the building, uh -huh. so it won't stick out much. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a yellow green. Well, that'll be new. Uh -huh. So everything on the ground will be new. So I'll be doing new five quarter pine seats, mm -hmm. and they're kind of rough. So it'll just, I haven't actually, we can say that I'll, I'll repeat the existing color scheme for yeah. the sake of simplicity, which is green and uh, a kind of a dark burgundy. Yes. That's what it is now. It was yellow the first time. Okay. And people didn't like it. Okay. Good. That's good. Mm -hmm. curlers, dark colors hide the dirt better. <laughs> Which is in hard to avoid when you're right next to the street. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anything you would like to add in while you're here? No, thank you. Okay. I'll go down through the criteria and evaluation criteria number one preservation of reconstruction of the appropriate historic style if the proposed project in the historic district or involves an historic structure i'll call that not applicable on this on the pergola harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district acceptable compatibility of proposed exterior materials with other properties in the district acceptable compatibility of proposed landscaping acceptable. 
prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, acceptable. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. All in favor of the application is proposed. Raise your hand right now. Just a second, I need to get you to sign this. Doesn't have to go on to develop. No, it doesn't have to go on to DRB. It's just an administrative okay. permit out okay. of the planning office. Yeah, we're hoping to have it in um, installed by that June fourth date of that downtown. It usually event. takes a yeah. day or two. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. The next application is for Twelve Hillside Avenue. Just the front door 
that door? Uh, yeah, we were, the, the only other, we were thinking about, um, I, we weren't quite sure, we were thinking about on, on some um, of the, the trim on the eaves. Mm -hmm. Kind of sometimes, I mean, our house is very simple. There's not a lot of opportunity to do like a, you know, three different colors, but um, we did, we had maybe considered using the blue as right for accent color. Yeah. Um, so doors, we, doors and accent. Thank you. Yeah, we hadn't, hadn't really um, planned that part of it out completely, but, um, but the, so it may just be um, the yellow on the, on the eaves. Right? Spell Hannah, H A N N. Uh, uh, it's Hannah with the H at the end. Yeah. H A N N A H. I'm sorry, yeah, H A N N A H. And the roof is green, right? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, actually, this photo is. Um, the, the, yeah, you're right, it looks green in the photo, but the roof is actually. Um, you, know, you can see it's um, a standing seam mm -hmm. metal, but it's, it's kind of that. Um, it's, it's like dark gray that has like a little bit of a brown in it. Oh. Wow, mm -hmm. yeah, this didn't. Yeah. Well. It's, yeah. just, it's just a reflection of the sun yeah. of it that shows. And yeah, that's interesting how it really. So more like here in the shade on the mm -hmm. back? Yeah, yeah that, okay. that one definitely. Okay. Yeah, that, that's the, 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 in that one, the, the, the section that's in the shade is, is pretty accurate. I assume you're gonna finish patching this siding in here. Yeah, absolutely. So that's yeah, we definitely are gonna do that as part of the project, um, for sure. Yes. Then these these pieces of trim come out, and we're just gonna cut the, the siding in, or are you gonna need to? Um, we're definitely planning. I think we're gonna t uh, feather it and take those yeah those pieces that come down there because that was really just kind of a a patch that you you can see kind of got left. Yeah. yeah. And then the same way, this looks like it was a, maybe you moved the, the heater location. Exactly, yeah, that, and that happened, um, that, must, that was previous, uh, we bought the house in 2012. Um, but yeah, I think that's exactly what that was, yeah. yeah. And then this piece of fascia on the, on the right there, that, is that missing or that's just not painted or that's? That, um, I believe, I don't know why I'm blanking. I believe that it's just not painted. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure it's actually, and I'm not, and that also was um, previous to us purchasing the house, so I'm not sure why that, I guess it was, maybe they needed to, and, and for some reason they never. They got replaced with different things. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah, uh -huh. that's that's a back, um, but it's kind of a straight. You know, it's up there, um, just below Cliff Street. Right. Um, and so it doesn't. It's kind of you know those all those lots are kind of those houses are perched on right. this tiny like hillside lot. So it um. That's we think of that as the back of the house, but but that's this that faces south. Uh -huh. So I mean that's the side of the house that actually faces the city. Okay. Even though we kind of. Um, the, the other, the entrance to the kitchen on the other side of the house, um, it's one of those houses that doesn't kind of doesn't have a front, right. <laughs> doesn't really have a front door. So the kitchen door is the main entrance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Questions, comments, suggestions? Okay, we'll go through the evaluation criteria. I'll read through those. Preservation and reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district as well as an historic structure, acceptable. Permanent exterior design, whether the properties in the district, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping, non proposed in this application. Prevention of use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, no change in utilities proposed for this. Uh, I mean, 
lighting changes or anything? Uh, no, we, we're not planning to do anything like that. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house. I would just say not applicable at this location. All in favor of the application is just a motion. It is approved. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sign that one above. Uh, my name. Let me know what you say. Twenty two. Twenty one. Sure, you can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, and you were saying like with the earlier one that, so it won't go on, this won't be on the development mm -hmm. review. No so development review. Not needed. Not needed. All right. Thank you. Good luck with the project. Thanks very much. Okay. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> Next application is for 7 Main Street, Carmel Avenue. Review of two new signs. Colors on here are, are a fair bit brighter than the actual. We just couldn't get it printed. It's more of a, okay. you know, more of a maroon, darker red, and mm -hmm. then the trim is more of a dark brown. Oh yeah, Michael's got pictures. Oh, okay. Perfect. Do you have an actual color, or can she email that to you? Or I, I think this is supposed to be the application. Yeah, I don't know if the name was on there. That's right. I can follow, you can follow up with the sign people to get the actual name of the color that they used. I'll get that. I don't want to the actual name. I'll just put it in here. Sorry about that. I'll make sure that's added. Um, the darker the color of the red. Yeah. The more contrast you have and the more readable the sign is. Mm -hmm. So that color, or even if you went slightly darker than that, again the dark the more the more dark you make the background color, the more the lettering stands out mm -hmm. just for the contrast. Mm -hmm. okay, so this is this is definitely better. Yes. It also is more, the dark color is more compatible with the brick building as well, so that looks, the darker you go, the nicer it looks. I might have to follow me.
the corners. <coughs> Classic burgundy. Have you thought, I mean, I see you, this is the general location where you intend to put that six? Yes. And I assume that's where the six foot sign is going? Yes, yep. Um, I'm hoping you're able to put the center line of the sign directly above the center line of that window. Yes. Yeah. There's room enough for that. Yes. It seems like there is. Yeah, we measure there. first the space yes. in order to see what we can do with that sign. Yeah. And does that 30 inches relate to anything in this sort of architectural detail here? Like, is that space there yeah, close to 30 here. inches? Or I'm just trying to understand, like, where it makes sense to put the bottom of the sign in relationship to some of the architecture that exists in the building. So, not the, the, the center line, the horizontal center line, not the vertical center line. I'm wondering if that has can line up in relationship to some of this this work. It's oh, yeah. I'm not sure. The design people came in and measured it for, and that's, that's what they, they recommended. Yeah. So you must be Sam. I'm not Sam. You're not Sam either. <laughs> Sam, I'm not. Sam, I am. <laughs> Sam, I'm not. 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 Sam, I
for a year for a for a couple things in one couple shifts. There one of the things that were we looked at in the original application was to perhaps also have a dumpster, um, which then we would lose parking places, the restaurants, etc. But they are instead going to be shared with neighbors, so they're not going to be asking for that. I did hear today from the owner that he has, however, been planning and working with Otter Creek on some awnings, which if it's okay with you guys, I'd like to show you the those to see if you feel those are Okay. Just found out about that today. So, um, and, then we're, and then we're looking at, um, in the rear of the building, we wanted to provide three storage closets such that uh, uh, people have no outside storage, if they have a bicycle, they can drag it up. And then part of the requirement for the building is we have three compressors that relate to the first floor air conditioning. So we can ask for a pad to put those on. Um, so if you look at what we have this low there, but this is the building here and behind on um, the river is that it's back in, so sort of tucked in back in here as to where these objects would be. Of course, on the top of So behind the building, we're looking back here. This is this was a sort of trash shed, I guess it was, that went away. And then we cleaned up back a fair amount. This is gone? That's gone, okay. yeah. Um, it's now kind of looks like this. We also, in, we've been meeting with the paper workers from the division in working to get tax credits. Um, and some of these were openings that were historic that we then put the case in around the village of the that uh, approach yes. uh, to tell the story that they were once there. And then the storage units that we're putting on could be removable or reversible if we ever want to do this fast. So where are those windows? I'm oh, sorry. The windows that are queer? Well, there was a there was a a, a a door and a window. Yes. And they asked that we oh. keep. The oh, I see. Oh, I see. That they yeah, 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 he's here. Yeah. The one to the left. The other yeah. with the original one. The yeah. others were later remodels, so they okay. we didn't need to keep those. It was obvious from the frame. They were happened later. So, so then, if we look at the package, I think you have your package. This piece, which shows these three sheds here, and then the side the line pad would be mounted you know, condensers. And here's a plan that shows the three of those closets and the to the side. So we would be pouring a slab upon the section or uh, elevation section that shows the, the sheds. They would basically be um, fiber openings, wool, trim, be able to match the building. They will put a, uh, an asphalt shingle uh, on, on this roof. I've got paint to match. Are those compressors just for AC or are they set up, yes. um, set up for AC and heat? This is for the lower level is just for AC. New apartments that we're doing above three in the new market rate units would be heat pumps that they go on the roof. Oh, okay. These were required to be close proximity to that first floor, and that's why they are here. There had been one historically that was like you can see it here that was on this short roof mm -hmm. uh, as part of a condenser, but with the apartment there, we brought that, that outside of people's windows. So that's kind of what we're really looking at there. The compressors more or less are kind of three by three by three cubes. They vary a little bit uh, in dimension depending on which one, uh, but there would be the three of them there. Okay. And they'd be on a, on a slab. Um, one thing that I'm supposed to alert you to is that um, Valerie was in, uh, 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 Audra was indicating that perhaps by flood requirement, we may need to raise the uh, the design flood elevation would be about six feet above grade. So we need to, to raise them up. There was a, some concern for, well, one, the cost to do it, and two, they're going to be, the top is going to be more than eight feet above, and the surface is a little difficult. We would also be placing that next to our, our neighboring building, and they wouldn't be able to get to and maintain there. So we still need to work out what there's going to be and what response there is or not relative to that. that question. Uh, what we'd like to do is get the approval from you guys if they're on the ground and then if you have a sense or an opinion as to uh, this approach from a design standpoint, that might, might be 
and I must, we may, frankly, we may over variance or something like this. Because, uh, we've, we've established, for instance, even if they were to flood, the cost of preparing them is less than half of the value of um, we're supposed to. Be. There was a question about, well, if, if these were above and were protected when we set up heat in the building, well, these don't provide heat, they're just AC, yeah. so it's, it's, it's only somewhere in the rest of the first floor and basement would be totally flooded along downtown. So it's, it's so how high do you think they might be, six feet up? It, the, the base would have to be six feet up as to where the design elevation would be. Okay. It would be about eight feet to the top. So a little concern. Eight or nine, nine on the large one. And we just don't feel like it's that safe uh, in terms of uh, preventative maintenance. The guy's going to come there and, you know, for OSHA ranks, if you're above six feet, you're going to be tied off with a harness, nothing to tie to, and it's just on and on and on. Because you, you, you thought of doing the storage shed and then on the side and then putting the units on top of the shed? that kind of same issues, I guess, of uh, access and such. And if the intent is to save money for a flood, <coughs> we're spending more for uh, access, maintenance, yeah. and the construction of it. So there probably is no net savings other than maybe in the rule. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then looks wise, there's a four wide window on the back of that elevation uh, for that one bedroom apartment that looks out to the river. We just didn't want to uh, have that in someone's view. Or the end that's what they're doing. Because yeah, if you put them on top of these, this, this apartment, which is a great space, and I know that is not a piece of approval that comes through you guys, but no. if it is, then we have to go there. We want to know that this is But your storage closets are exempt from because they're not some sort of mechanical thing that is in the plug way? We have to provide an opening, 60 square inches of opening, which is basically going to be an undercut. It's not much breach so that the flood waters can run in and run out. So, so in that no. rendering, that doesn't show that, but that shows the siding. Yeah, I mean, we, we, it's called out in detail here, but basically it's, mm -hmm. it's a three, three quarter inch, one need to be a three quarter inch minimum undercut in order to get the square inches we need. Okay. And that will, pro that will allow them to get run in. It's kind of hard to flood-proof air conditioning. So. Right. No, you can't. Yeah, exactly. But we also found that, that if they were flooded, what has to be replaced is a computer unit in the motor, but it's less than half the cost mm. of a new unit. So it's probably less over time than yeah. doing these other things. So that's that piece. I mean, if you want to discuss that and then talk about awning or what would be the flood. Anybody have any questions about the compressors of the storage room? How wide are the doors for the storage room? I think they were about three feet. Mm -hmm. three foot. Two oh, foot three, six. We're, they're a little bit less because we're six. three foot clear. Okay. Clear three in the middle. Yeah. And we wanted to, one, there's the compressors and leave room around the door on the other side. So it needs to be built like a, as if they look like they're attached to the building, or are you going to yes. be able to? Or they are attached. They will be attached. To okay, so you won't have a. But they could be removable. Uh, so they'll be really attached to this slab, and then we work this out with cable, and then we have a flashing or something that would allow that. So they'll appear uh, weatherproof, but it could, could be removable. Right. There will be a near gap in the back of the thing, you know, pushed up against the side of the room and say. Okay, I guess we're good on those. And do you have any samples? Oh, yes. This is one way we have this umbrella in our office. So um, there is sort of precedent of you know, striped on and kind of up and down the block. <coughs> the, this is a rendering that Sam, if you said it, didn't. Oh, what he wants. He's got an architectural app. I'm working on my optometry app to see if I can do <laughs> But that was the, his sense of what he was looking at. That. There would be in the center a barrel that would be there year round, and that would be also the signage. Um, from Otter Creek, this is with the framework of what that barrel would be. The one on the far right. In this image, it's in the snow, but that one exists and is of the same color that we would be using. So that one stays, and then the other two would be matching that. 
these are the two new ones in this close-up, and in the little corner you see is the existing. Yeah, and here's, this is a picture of the existing, mm -hmm. the one that remains, and uh, this, this is the material, which matches the was part was the same one, so they'd be using that. We did ask, and he's indicated that it would be eight foot three from the sidewalk to the underside of the barrel. I question, but I think that would work through the Bombardier traffic through a tenant. It's something we need to confirm. Does that have to go before? Uh, that's, what I'm double, that's what I'm double checking right now. I can't remember. This would be the first awning sign that I have done in a year. And that would be with you guys in theory, right? Yeah. Uh, or no? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, they review signs, but we would still have to check all the measurements and everything against yeah, the yeah, sign yeah. regulations for a separate sign application. But you could just fold it in. Probably. Uh, Twenty-five feet. Twenty-five feet. Twenty-five feet. Twenty-five feet. these windows, picture windows of the pin, and looked at what to do there, and you suggested doing two over two, mm -hmm. which are now in, and it definitely looked great. There was some question of whether these were 50s piece and we had to keep them or not, but luckily we found a 1983 stamp in the glass. Uh -huh. And the original building had a two over two grouped together like this. Again, I'm sure we've gone okay to go to that original. Or Actually, there's a picture in the 20s that shows the smaller lights. Smaller. Even earlier. Yeah. Even earlier. But so I think point, we're okay and Caitlin has reviewed it, but she's okay with this. No, it's, it really matches the ones next well, door. It there. Does. It, it's, for me, that case was kind of like scratching the blackboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this the doors on this side. This is completely outside of your application, but on the yeah. roof of the <coughs> river building, is there a, like a glass atrium? There is, yeah. There's a central core area there that, oh. that comes down. Yeah, I've been up there. That's cool. Bigger than we had at French Block, but the, yeah, it's, it's literally outside. It is. Is that covered or it's just open? You know, I'm not sure. You know, seeing it from the inside, you see facade around it. Mm -hmm. I think it may be covered. I don't remember. I like it. Where are the doors to get in from the front? I'm a little confused with this picture. Um, there will be, it's on either side. Oh, side. Yes. Will you go in the center, in that center space? You'll go in the one on the right. Uh -huh. The left one is going to be fixed. Okay. That's going to be a waiting area, but the entrance will be the one on the right. Okay. And the existing door, more or less, will remain. Mm -hmm. And we're going to continue sort of that the profile. Or actually, where there's a panel and glass above is what that's happening uh, below that, which was presented in your first round. Okay. Um, <coughs> and, I don't think I was going to that. And yeah, we will need a complete sign application downstairs for the shippy on the awning. On, on top of that. Yeah. And then does um, that come back here? Or? It depends on what they. Decide. Decide. I mean, what we'll be what we'll be dealing with downstairs is the actual <laughs> measurements, meeting um, the requirements, of meeting the, the requirements for the wall signs to make sure there's and to, there's not a lot of wall signs on there right now. There's nothing, right? Uh, in that building no. now. And I don't. Oh, all on the glass. Yeah, it was all in the glass. Yeah. So and I don't think there will be any since it's just this. Ca the awning, the on yeah, the awning counts as a wall sign, so you should be fine. So okay, we imagine. prove it is a. Uh, is a building element or a sign element? I think you have to do both because to do the rest of the awnings. So okay. let me get, I think I probably have a separate sign for recommendation form in here somewhere. If I don't, I can run down to the ground it. Can we do that as an approval or as a recommend, as a uh, informal recommendation? Um, I think you can still do it as a recommendation. Um, as a formal sign recommendation form, and then you know we'll still have to get the application. Even though form it's not the one for this meeting. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that's.
that's something that you know it's it's part of the awning that we're approving. Yeah. The, the awning. The sign. Yeah. And, and I think we might have to come back. I think you might have to come back for that element for the sign element. Good point. Thank you, Steve. Sorry. Sorry you didn't throw that in. <laughs> well, we didn't know what until today. <laughs> If you come back, it looks like you will, it'll sail through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's everything. So that's uh, that. And then I guess a question for you, Meredith. Mm -hmm. My understanding is that the um, compressors and the concrete slab gets approved here, but then it's an administrative site plan. That's my understanding as well, yeah. And that plus the flint. Yeah, right. so I guess well, what I'd like, I mean, frankly, they were hoping for last week, uh, whether we could get administrative for the slab, and then who knows what we have to do with the units, even if we have to raise them. Yeah, I, like I said, I think that's confirming with Audra. I, I have no problem with it zoning-wise. It's as long as Audra's cool with the slab being poured, there's not some requirement that there be, you know, I think some other structure. Right. Well, I hope they're okay it's, with that. I, I think I think that should be fine. But I'm, I'm not going to say yes. I'm, I used to be a practicing attorney. I'm not going to say yes and then have her tell me no. <laughs> there was a the question of whether we might instead have to go to the basement and raise the building six feet. Yeah, I, I, you know, I know it is my point. Excuse me. <laughs> I, at this point, I have been kept out of the floodplain. <laughs> I, I, I haven't done any of the courses on that. They're keeping me in zoning. So gotcha. that's why I'm not well, going to say a, what Audra's going to That'll be a question I can connect with, see if we get at least to the slab yeah. and resolve the other after. I think that's a that very allow good question. These guys can move forward. Okay. I think that's a good thing to ask Audra about tomorrow when she's got this I think they're excited about note. providing three market rate units in town, which will be, I think there's a huge demand for it. And they'll right. have each have one as far as it goes. Oh, nice. <coughs> and a bike lock. And a bike lock. And a bike lock. Bike lock. Wow. How large are the units? There's one two bedroom and two one bedroom. And very nice. Have you even spoken for? No, there's one person possibly interested in one, but What's the market rate on the, the units? I guess he's trying to figure that out as to what it would be. I'm talking so many people who have had so many new ones in town. And there'll be heat pump air conditioning. And parking space out back. And mm -hmm. all right of finishes. All the plumbing electrical finishes, cabinet finishes, space out right of parks. Based on what was there. Retired. It was a total cut, basically. I mean, the more we got into this building, it was. <laughs> Were there actually apartments up there? Way back. Uh, offices more recently and then empty for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, all their office seems to be in there. <laughs> oh. I remember as a kid going up in there. Shooting rubber bands on the secretaries. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the uh, approval for the uh, compressors in the back as well as the storage units. And then I said in ad the additional proposal for retractable awnings on the building, which match an existing awning on the northernmost portion of the facade, are acceptable, <laughs> as well as the FPL awning over the entry are approved. Any other comments, questions, suggestions, anything else you want to throw in other than the sign? <laughs> and you any lighting, his email. Lighting, yeah, lighting. Any lighting changes or not outside pretty much inside. in the back for the storage units, there's no additional lighting I required. Been at the moment. I think there's some, some area lighting. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, if they should, if they should decide to actually do it, there's a lot of new LEDs inside. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
there's enough lighting from the area generally enough to be able to just see the lock. No. And if you have a light inside to start a shed, then they would be fine. No. I don't know if you want to put like a, like a wall on one side or the other, so that would be on a motion detector. So if somebody were to walk back there, then a the light could. So it's just on that side door out. I Which also, I have to go back and check. Uh, Could we generically put in something and it would be good, or would we have to come back to you for that? I mean, I could see putting You know, I could see maybe something here which wouldn't bother anybody out, but would then provide light to those. Mm. OK. Like, like here, which would provide light this way. But again, it wouldn't be that for anyone that would be like pollution. And you could put it on a motion detector so anybody who walks back there, the light comes on and they can see. So that would be good. Can we add that in? Yes. I could get your cut sheet then. Awesome. Make sure it says how many lumens. <laughs> Pictures of Mr. Alvarez first as a young man with his father, and then as an older man with his mother. Uh -huh. uh, and yes, they're identical. I think okay. if you go way back to the most original building, there were some more divisions of the glass. Mm -hmm. But this piece has definitely been there over 50 years, okay. as you see. The stories of the family are amazing. Yeah. What they used to do it. Yeah. You call up and you give me your order, and they put it in the box, and then the cat is killed and covered the truck or take it and put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> Way ahead of that was <laughs> Well, I remember the balloon in the 70s, I guess. And, it was, it was and she made <laughs> mint chocolates and people lined up since I could work for her. Uh -huh. I remember the uh, uh, meat service that they oh, yeah. put butcher shop. It convinced me of Thanksgiving for pies that yeah. people liked. They also had the big wheels of cheese. Oh yes. Yeah. And I just said a added a motion detect, detection light fixture may be added at the rear of the building to illuminate the access doors for the storage shed. Any more clarification or additional technical? Anything? Okay, so that is the electrician put one up. There's actually there's a back door that will serve uh, staff to go into their back area. Mm -hmm. And then one right where we just talked about it. There'll be one that they also very weird. that one? Yeah. One right so there's one that. here as well. That's right. One here for this entrance. Yes. That's and already then, it's already there. <laughs> there's one there to the right of both of those doors. That's what but we'll be Can I go over there for just sure? Yeah. We'll be doing a new fixture whether there's yeah. one there or not. So the electrician is shown because it's, you know, on a dark winter night, they come out the staff after you go mm -hmm. into this the wall pack. It's going to be there, and then it's going to just to the right that part. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So that, looking at it from here, there's one here, and there's one right, right there. there. So there's one right there and one there. But this would not illuminate doors there. Are these are these existing or are they new ones? They're new. Okay. Just change that to say motion detection. Like fix the motion detector or just I mean if somebody's coming in the back you can't coming from the back, you would want a motion detector because there's no way to turn it on otherwise, right? Yeah. Unless there was light uh, that makes it just always on or something with the time accommodation. But I think motion would make sense. Okay. So I'll just scratch out a motion and just put motion detector light fixtures. 
may be added at the rear of the building to illuminate the access doors for the storage shed and to illuminate So that we can include the like, location in the permit. Next. Thank you. Sorry. To Mr. To rear building door or two rear doors. So now we got three. <laughs> three. Okay. Thank you. Do you need anything else? Uh, this guy? Uh, it's all the awning details, so I can just throw them in the application file. This is a photograph of. Thank you. This is the mechanism that they were used. And do you want the press of the neighbors? No. That's good. I think that original on it was the one that Adorn put up. I think it was Trigay. Oh, really? She had the, the clothing store in there two tenants ago. Uh, and then the other more recent two tenants changed their colors. Anything else? Otherwise, we'll go through the criteria. If you think of anything else before we get to the end, <laughs> bring it up. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Preservation of reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the proposed projects in the historic district and also historic structure acceptable. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping non proposed in this application. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Location and appearance of all utilities, acceptable. If you could get a cut sheet of some kind just to bring in for the, for the lights, that would be helpful just to add to the application. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, acceptable. All in favor of the application with the two amendments, raise your hand. I don't you think can I vote. vote. Yeah, well, you're here for the start of this one. I'm the start. Okay. okay. Do you want to hear it? Pardon me? No. <laughs> no, it is not. No, it's because I wasn't here from the beginning. Right. I didn't know exactly what you're talking no. about. Well, you got the, uh, you covered the gist of it from okay. all the time during the time you were here. So I had the gist vote. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you're talking about, I'm just going to step out. Mm. One of you want to sign that above my name on the left, lower left side? Sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. The other thing you did was add up the total of your, you know, on a paper bag, they put your groceries in. Mm -hmm. You didn't get a receipt you know, from the machine or anything. No, I've, I've got this stuff from them years ago. And okay. just, it was written on the side of the back. Yeah, exactly. That's what oh, I'm saying. Yeah. You know, you said, yeah. you know, that's $2, that's right. four, that's six, that's eight, and it's right, it's $10 on the bag. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, uh -huh. not even there without, yeah. Interesting yeah. story about you bought sort of lower cost meat, but the, but the treatments that you gave oh. them, was able to get people think it was something really special. <laughs> we also provided, evidently, when the Wrightsville Dam was built, provided the food to all the workers. Mm -hmm. And they were used in the immigrant family, so it's sort of part of the sound of the example of sort of immigrant company being successful. There was a lot of lunch orders. Yeah, we had a lot of that. The building we purchased, we inherited the giant butcher table that weighs about 250 pounds that used to be in there for 100 years. Is that right? Kind of help anybody who wants to move mm -hmm. again. <laughs> okay. okay, well, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. So, I expect to see you more about <laughs> coming yeah. to talk about Audra. <laughs> yeah, you're all where we are. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Good thank luck you. with your multiple projects on that property. Thank you. Good luck with your. Almost done. Uh, historic tax credit.
Yeah, I sent an appeal to John Burns, and it's a question of whether he go to Washington or not. Laura did do a writing where she felt that this should continue to be uh, contributing. So we'll see if it's like after having been indicated in 1978, confirmed in 2017 by everybody, including Montpelier, including the, the, uh, the National Park Service. It's like, come on, how can we change that? Well, and also, how can you not recognize it? Because they wouldn't actually change the listing. They would just not give the tax credit. Which is huge. I mean, yeah, which it's is... A, it's a make or break. Yeah, kind of which is effectively tax. delisting it. Particularly when they right. had approvals, letters uh, gone ahead with things. Basically, mm -hmm. we made decisions and done things like saving that one little site of brick wall, which was historic. It was failing. And one thought was to take it off for the cheaper. But it was a historic element. So we had engineering work done, you know, going to get more anchors from the inside to hold it there. That's all done, one of the other things. So hopefully we'll see the importance. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's this owner that's the only tool in his toolbox. You know, this is our tax credit. Oh, right. It's, it's, mm -hmm. You know, you're basically punishing somebody who wants to expand their business and add employees and stay downtown and core downtown and create market rate housing. Yeah. And you need and that chunk up front rather than just stretch it out over 40 years. <laughs> Like and a restore friend. the historic building all in the same Exactly. Oh, right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, it would have been cheaper even to one to tear it down or to go build it on the corner. Yeah. That's the, not the intent. Mm -hmm. like and a similar thing with Becky, <coughs> Mr. Sandler, who was the first guy to say he didn't want it. We were in the water with some chain and everybody said, oh, this is good. Yeah. He's the one who put some windows in the connector of the car. And he said, well, he's indicated his opinion as you can see in face. He said, I thought it was having facades. Yeah. That maybe why he doesn't look like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck. Anyway, thank you all. Thank, thank you, you, you all. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And Eric and the crew were very supportive. They wrote a letter to so their opinion relative to the review they had done. Uh, so hopefully that was well, Hopefully they take the experts' <laughs> <laughs> advice. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, thank you. So we have two sets of minutes. And the May the 6th, we have a, or actually an April. Sorry. Uh, we got three of us. Steve, Mark, the pen. Anything that needs to be amended on the minutes that you can see? Looks good to me. Do one, oh, I'm one sorry, I thought you were looking for Because there's different the groups of us. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I'll just... Martha or Ben, do you have any questions or changes? Do I hear a motion to approve those minutes? I move to approve All second. All in favor, raise your hand. Those minutes are approved for April 15th. And now May 6th. Okay. Um, I think it's the third step piece of fourth. Um, in the first paragraph there, it says, during all other times, the lights will slowly fade between cell colors. I'm not sure if I quite understand that statement. Um, I, was try I was trying to describe <laughs> in a brief way, because it wasn't going to be like multiple different colors at the mm -hmm. same time. But so I can, if, if somebody has another way of describing how it was going to fade between colors. So what are the colors? I can get rid I of, mean, I think, I think it was, it's a choice. Spectrum. Yeah, it's the whole oh. spectrum. We can choose oh, okay. whichever colors. Okay. But it'll be solid instead. Solid like across the whole panel, each panel. Yeah, I that see. Was my understanding. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I haven't, I haven't heard anything about a demonstration. Did anybody? No, I haven't. Yeah. I need to follow up That with was them. my next question. I thought we were going to have a demo of. So did I. What it would. So look I'm going like. to need to follow up with them. Because we. And I thought that was a contingency. Mm -hmm. Uh. It was, I thought it was a request.
request. I didn't think okay. you wrote it on there as a condition. Okay. <laughs> I'd have to go back and look. Well, I just said it just says I would like to see a strip installed to see what it looks like mm -hmm. from State Street. I will. I can. I don't. I don't think you put it on there as a condition no, on the we didn't. on the form. I just wanted to see it. Yep. No, nope, I'll follow up with Ward. Okay. Uh, she got because I know she had to try and get the materials. And then it was four colors for the panels. <laughs> mm-hmm. Four different um, colors of white for the white, different white, white light panels. transparent. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you want me to actually write in here what the four color options were? Uh, you can amend the minutes yes, to do that? Can, you can amend that. Okay. It was white to... You wrote that on the recommendation form, so I'll list them. Two lighter shades of mm -hmm. white to clear. that change do I hear a motion to approve those minutes or is there anything else that needs to be changed I'll move to approve. I'm sorry I'll move to approve. okay I'll second all in favor raise your hand so the minutes for May 6 are approved anything else do I hear a motion to adjourn so moved second all in favor of adjournment, raise your hand. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.